So you made 650,000, okay? Mm -hmm. What is 50,000 out of mm -hmm. 650? It's basically not too much. Not but a, a first time buyer who is making, let's say he was having 60,000 per year and he is trying to get 5% mm -hmm. of the purchase price. Plus, now under the new law in United States, another 2.5% to pay the buyer agent mm -hmm. for that people, for that family, it will be another two years of, of hard working. So you see, so it's a middle class, really. 2.5% yeah. from a seller's point yeah. of view is much less yeah. than 2.5% from a first time, first time mm -hmm. buyer. This is my point. Remark Realtron, mm -hmm. but let's say a guy from Keller Williams or from Royal Page or from another company, they want to buy our listing, we cannot advertise okay. that we give them 2.5%. So for but me, this is, doesn't make any sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? You do the chances to actually to sell that house or to have more buyers. Ba yeah, you, basically you, you, you minimize, you, 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 you shrink the yes, we shrink the potential buyers, the potential. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. It's, so, it's a little bit, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit scary if you ask me. It's, 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 it's scary, scary, you know, so, it, uh, you know, so uh, like... And this a, is final? This is like a... No, no, like they a, have to be approved by the, by the judge. It's not yet. So it's okay. not yet signed. But, but still, uh, if yeah. the judge, for example, does, that doesn't have enough real estate uh, experience, mm you know probably will uh, we sign but uh, but if you if they have if they they were working in this industry for a while they will understand the consequences you know At the least, consequences hopefully they will test first and see if I don't know if it's working, if it's not working, because if it's final, and, then it's what we'll see. And, no, and, no transactions. What's what's happening? In this yeah, yeah. so it will be probably, um, as I said, the agent will adapt, um, but the um, the number of sales probably will be uh, lower. The number of agents will be lower. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, they have. Uh, because of the the, corp the big uh, the big companies they will shrink mm -hmm. because there are so many buyer agents that if if the the new rules are coming they they will disappear mm -hmm. but as i said the 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 client the customer is not uh, is not a win win situation I think here that's a problem not the number of agents yes, because it's maybe about the it's customers a, maybe there are, it's a big yeah. number and maybe yeah. they want to reduce and they have they want to have like uh, a quality exactly agents, and, and, but it's the problem it's the, the, it's client, the, client. the client so the most problem. hit there will be the buyers so mm -hmm. even in night states today and even in Canada today mm -hmm. there are more buyers than sellers okay so there are more yeah. buyers than sellers right now, okay yeah. right now because uh, it's a um, few years back we had like yeah. so many sellers. so they they um, so basically because there are so many buyers they are willing to buy mm -hmm. and the less sellers mm -hmm. there you know there you know it's a seller's market yeah. Basically, because um, in North America, a lot of immigration is coming from Europe, Asia, South America. So all the time here is a need for a house mm. and the houses they are going, you know, um, you know, um, uh, the price are going higher and higher because of so, that. Because That's of what that, the, what yes. The, what the and, is, yeah. and what happened is now with uh, if that that this settlement is, let's say this, this lawsuit is coming into Canada. Um, I, I, I just want to hear me know our leaders. Um, that um, they will hurt the buyers a lot. Mm -hmm. So they will hurt. So basically, they will hurt more clients, yeah. more buyers than sellers. Mm -hmm. So imagine, you know, you have a house, let's say one million dollar home. Okay? okay. So you are the seller. Okay. You are paying, let's say five percent. Okay, five percent, which is fifty thousand. Okay. For you, you know, if you pay fifty thousand for one million, and then your house, let's say, a few years ago when you purchased first time was three hundred fifty, mm -hmm. so you made six hundred fifty thousand. Okay, mm -hmm. what is fifty thousand out of mm -hmm. six fifty? It's basically not too much. Mm, not but a, a first time buyer who is making, let's say, he was having sixty thousand per year, and he is trying to get five percent mm -hmm. of the purchase price, plus now under the new law in United States another 2.5% to pay the buyer agent mm -hmm. for that people, for that family, it will be another two years of, of hard working. So you see, so it's a middle class, really. 2.5% yeah. from a seller's point yeah. of view, is much less yeah. than 2.5% from a first time, first time mm -hmm. buyer. This is my point. Yeah. So the buyer, 
the buyers are, are the most affected ones. The mid class buyers. The, the, yeah. Yeah, we are yeah. talking about the, yeah. the most. So if the that law is implementing here, yeah. then most of Canadians mm. will be hurt. Yeah, but not it is not. That's the, the. This is why I want to lead the question. I want to just you yes. know, to finish up with the yes. U.S. because it's not implemented in Canada. Now. Not yet. Not yet. So I think it's actually the right moment, <laughs> really. Whomever wants to sell or buy, yes. Until the new law appears. You know what? The <laughs> best way is a potential bunch of buyers to make a class auction. Mm. You know, against this rule well, because we, you know what happened they will win because if let's say if i if they ask me to be their advisor mm -hmm. i will explain you how this will hurt the few the next generation of mm -hmm. canadians the next generation of buyers and everything will be you know like will very bad for for the yeah. economy for the canadians and for everybody. That's the thing. It will affect everything. Everything. The economy. Everything. It's not just the, the real estate market. It's everything. So, it's attached. So, Felicia, it's so funny because um, a few years ago in 2019 and 2020, uh, I was invited in um, Romania to open up, uh, you know, um, Keller Williams yeah, franchise, remember. to open I some remember, yeah. offices. It was an office in Bucharest, mm -hmm. but we tried to open up in, in Cluj-Napoca, in Brasov, in other cities. So um, in Romania, and in that point, like, you know, like 10, 15 years ago, was the same system like they are pr uh, preaching now yes, in, 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 in the US. Yes, so the yes. buyer is supposed to pay half of the commission. Yeah. And the seller supposed to be half of the commission. It was the so same. and didn't work so much because so well because what happened was as I said the buyers struggle are struggling to pay that commission mm. because they were entering the market they didn't have too much money you know yeah. for that so we uh, somehow the Romania you know like Remax and other big franchises now they are uh, you know uh, selling homes with zero percent commission. What does it mean there okay. is the <laughs> buyer doesn't the, the, the buyer doesn't have to pay. Commission, okay. so they follow up the, the the you know the United States uh, okay. system and but the Canadian it's system it's is zero. This is say yeah. zero commission. That means the buyer that the they buyer. doesn't have to pay. They don't have to pay. Now imagine you know. So we convince them that that one is the best system. <laughs> no. They implemented, <laughs> and now the whole all of the sudden they have to. I don't know. I I I, I hope they will keep the same like uh, you know with zero buyer commission mm. because because they will they will help their buyers to buy more more homes yeah. they will help the seller sell quickly and for much more money yeah not waiting another two years for that buyer to to make another 1.5 or 2 or 2.5 percent of that price so imagine you know if you want to buy a one million dollar home here you have to pay now like as a buyer as a buyer twenty five thousand dollars for the, for, the, for for the services to, oh, for to the buy services. for, no, for to buy to buy no, no to buy the house Imagine. on top on the down payment on top of the down payment this is the uh, this is the, okay. the, the what what's going to happen what's, what's, yeah. you know so as i said if the seller was mm. paying he was much happy to pay because mm. you know if you have a bunch of 60000 realtors like in toronto real estate board yeah. then you have much more chances to sell their home for the best price because you have a 60000 agents that are working for you mm -hmm. now that 60,000 will shrink basically maybe in a couple of hundreds because maybe just a few hundred agents they have signed buyer agency agreement with their buyer to mm -hmm. be compensated to buy that home. It was, as I said, they don't have yeah. a buyer agent and if they go to the listing agent thinking that they save money, mm -hmm. basically, yeah, they save in the short term because they don't pay probably, uh, you know, the full amount, but mm -hmm. they are not legally represented, like mm -hmm. represented and they don't know what they buy. Well, Marius, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. How long have you been a real estate agent? Since 2005. Yes. So, almost 18 years. 18 years. Listen, you work so hard. You're top 100 agent worldwide, which is fantastic. Congratulations. Thank on you so that. much, Scott. And you don't just help people sell or buy homes. You do the whole pack. How, so, how do you know what to do to a house in order to increase its value? 
um, I learn from you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, and, so you're and, a pro then. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to, you know, explain people that if they, you know, improve their, you know, like with a new countertop, a new flooring, a new bathroom, a new kitchen, they will, you know, like for each dollar, they will get maybe one, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars more. Yes. So this is very important. It's the return and on investment. Exactly. You want to take care of your yeah. clients. You're not just here to help them buy or sell a yeah. home. You help them move. You give them renovation tips. Everything. It's one of the reasons why you and your family are so successful in this business. Yes, they basically they give me the, the keys of the house and they live in Caribbean for two weeks and when they come back the house is sold for the, the most money. So you should have your own yeah. show. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so busy doing that but I, I love it. But you know, it's, um, it's a... It's a pleasure to do the best thing for my clients. So. Well, look, you've seen a lot. You've got a lot of experience, especially in the Markham area. Where do you see the future of real estate in Markham? Because of the uh, huge immigration in, in Canada, I think it's a good investment to, uh, for investors to invest in real estate. Yes. And especially in Markham because, um, you know, it's uh, close to Toronto. Uh, close to 404, so the you know the it's a you know very very closely to Toronto and uh, um, the the value in long term will go up for sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's a great investment. Listen, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Scott. You're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much.